Hello everyone. In this video I will remove X and Y axis from the donor printer, install some parts of Y axis, then list all of the parts that I still need to print. This is the printer with a very wobbly uh, frame and I am going to have to uh, remove everything from it or some of the things from it before I can install them on the new frame. So now I'm just gonna go and find a power cord. So I will need power cord. I probably should turn on my printer. I can open a printer face and I can connect to the printer. Set the G28 command. Now I want to take this extruder and move it all the way up, the, all the way it goes, so I can easily remove it. But before it goes there, I should uh, remove existing top of the extruder, so uh, it's not gonna block me when uh, uh, when this whole uh, carriage goes up. So let's find the right uh, drill. Uh, let's find the right uh, screwdriver bit for it and yeah I'm just gonna do the usual thing loosen the screws first and then I'm going to find a some kind of receptacle where I can put all of the um, screws that are removed from the uh, printer Something like uh, this old box. I guess it's still inside in that frame somewhere. Oh man, this is so stuck. No, there we go. Okay, now I can run G oh G zero um, Z to ten. I think this is as far as it goes. Let's say F four thousand. I want to this thing to move quickly. Oh, that is unexpected. What did just happen? I guess we... Oh. This printer needs a lot of love.
On the second thought, I'm not in that of a hurry. So let's just do... Let's go to 200 first. Okay, I guess this is as far as we can go in our powered flight and then I'll just... Uh, yeah, I had multiple issues with um, the setup, so I'm hoping that the new bed is going to solve some of these issues and wiring and things like that would just be easier with, um, with the bear upgrade. Okay. Let's get this thing out. Nice ah, there we go. Got the Y axis is out. And now I guess I'll have to take apart the uh, no, that was x-axis. Now I have to take apart the y-axis. This is something that I was trying to do to fix the bed. Just put... Um, I was trying to put some springs, like make it into regular-ish MK2. Uh, I3, but uh, I think, yeah, whatever the upgrade I was doing, it they had nothing to do with the uh, bed or anything like that. It was all issues with an even frame. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the bed and remove all the things that hold the bed down. So I can remove everything on y-axis. Oh, this part is going to be the most annoying. couple of zip ties that I need to get rid of. Or maybe one zip tie. Oh, it turns out two zip ties. And now I got to the carriage. It's mounted on using a bunch of zip ties. This is something that I might uh, rethink in the future. As you can see, it's kind of wibbly wobbly. I think I may have to print something that holds it more in place. So that's our holder and I'm just going to get the belt out and there we go so that's our carriage and I would prefer to clean up this grease before proceeding Th this uh, smooth rod is longer than the smooth 
rod. Let's move the rods for um, the original Bruce. I think it's five millimeter longer or ten millimeter longer. So uh, I will need to do some modifications in order to get my uh, get this rod in the in the new um, frame so there we go here uh, okay and I'm just gonna clean off all of the grease that I can find Okay, now I'm going to look at what uh, step I need to do first. I need to install idler mount first and then in in install the holders for the rods. So I'm going to disconnect the printer. I'm going to put X axis in the Y axis. Take the heated plate somewhere and then just uh, so let's um, install our idler mount. So, the first thing that we need to do is install uh, wire rod holders. So, uh, 60 knots uh, at the front. So, oh Jesus. Okay, I put, it, uh, I put uh, the printer on the power cord and that's why it kind of wobbled. It's fine, it doesn't wobble anymore. So uh, it's going to be uh, six T uh, five T knots at the back. So one, two, three. So it's going to be like one. Three. And it's going to be six in the front. Yeah, and the back is where these plates facing that way and the front is where there's more space and no plates connectors I guess. Let's get the headline mount and make sure that they don't fit. And that I need to 3D print something. the smooth road road mounts don't tell me this is going to work okay apparently this is going to work okay hmm okay so I don't need to do a lot of printing I'm fine I guess I'm just going to, uh, so yeah, I, I need M12 uh, knots for this, which is fine. Aligning the, oh, aligning the knots and then screwing in the screws. Yeah, 
if that works though. Here yeah, this is holding. So now try the other one. Yeah, I think my the holes in the printed model are a little bit tight, but it's okay. Yeah, okay, I got both of them. Now I'm gonna do it on this side. Maybe I should use a drill bit instead to kind of speed things up. Yeah, this one is a bit too small. This is H2.5 and I actually need H3. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So. Okay. That's done, now to the other side. Okay, this is one side is holding. side is holding one side is holding then then the other side is going to be somewhere even the other side is holding so I have a motor and I have one of the idlers, but I think this is an old version that I can't use because um, it doesn't go in the uh, slot anymore. So uh, yeah, I'm going to print out a few things and then I will continue it in my build. So the things that I need to uh, print out is why Hitler mount I need three X Y bearing holder and I need yeah, I should probably, um, uh, I should use new design of the belt holder. And also, why Idler Tensioner? I don't think I have that. Now let's, see, let, let's look at our uh, motor mount. Motor mount seems okay, or at least uh, I don't, doesn't seem to be, um, yeah, okay, I need, um, I need motor mount because I can't get any of the, um, I can no longer put <laughs> any of the T-nuts in here. I, I can put only one, but not two, so yeah, the, since I printed this stuff, the schematics have changed, so I will need a new Y motor 
mount. Yeah, so that that's the installation of the frog. That's the installation of. Oh, nice! We have idler tensioner. So this is something that I really wanted. So uh, uh, I think it's why idler and why idler tensioner and why idler. Oh yeah, this is great. I always wanted to have tensioner in this system, but I was kind of lazy to uh, actually uh, install it. So uh, let me just try and see if uh, the yeah the uh, the bit. This uh, smooth uh, rods fit as expected. Yeah, I just need to uh, print a bunch of stuff. So that's it for now. I will resume when I get my uh, 3D printed parts.